are not sharing with you old Disney fairy tales. These are real stories of your fathers. Why? Not to entertain you, but to learn. You see, my brothers, you know what I love about the Sahaba? The Sahaba were real people. We know this religion through them great men. And when we speak about religion, we've got to understand who the great men and who the great women were. We are meant to be people that who make a chain. We are meant to be people like the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. They were people wherever they went, they made a difference. And this is why the Prophet sallallahu he said that the most true in his modesty from my nation is Uthman. The most sincere in his modesty and his shyness is Uthman radiallahu anhum. That he was so humble in his talk, so modest and soft-spoken, that you would have to come so close to him just to hear what he was trying to tell you. He left men like Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, my brothers. The greatest man to walk the earth after the prophets and the messengers. A man whom he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says to his sahaba, he says, I presented Islam to every one of you and every one of you buckled except Abu Bakr, he accepted that immediately. Umar ibn Khattab promised paradise many times, many times. Imagine. The Prophet of Allah promises you paradise. It's the transformation of a man who was entirely unjust to a man who became a symbol of justice for all of mankind. The man in the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says to Muhammad, if there was, if there was to be a Prophet after me, it was going to be you. Very, very powerful man. From his excellence in battle is that he destroyed a legendary, legendary warrior by the name of Amr ibn Abdul. But if there is one thing that I could point to with Ali radiallahu anhu, it was his outstanding tawakkul in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He actually held a door in the battle of Qaybah with one hand while he fought with the other one. After he dropped that door, 10 men, it took 10 men to be able to just pick that door up off of the ground. Who else other than Hassan and Hussein had the honor of the Prophet وسلم, saying that your houses will be opposite my house in Jannah? Who else other than Hassan and Hussein had the honor of the Prophet وسلم, saying that on the day of judgment, in the hereafter, that you will be the leaders of all the youth in Jannah? And that's how it goes. So tell everyone you know that this party don't stop till the son of Mary come home. I'm pleased with my Lord and Islam is my theme. May we die by these words. Allahumma amin.